Hi, this is Dr. Ragini, Fertility Consultant from 49 Sikindrabad. Today I would like to discuss about the what are the basic tests and investigations we do when the patient couple comes to us for infertility. So basic we both male and female partners are should come to the hospital. Why? Because both should know how much are the investigation, how much is the pain the wife is going through the scans and the husband if she if he is with the wife the counselling, the grief counselling and how she feels uh, when the support from the husband is much more important than the doctor. So when both wife and husband comes to us, we will ask them for small minimal blood investigations that is thyroid test and sugar test for both of them and later basic scan for the wife and basic semen analysis for the husband. So in scan what all we look for? In scan we look for the uterus, how is the uterus, is there any anomalies in the uterus like some will have two uterus, some will have a single uterus with a septum and how is the status of the ovaries, how is the ovaries, is there any cyst in the ovary, if there is cyst, what type of cyst, is it a simple cyst or is there is a something called as chocolate cyst, we look for that and more so in the ovary we also look for the how is the reserve within the ovary, is it a normal reserve or a low reserve or a high reserve like in PCOS. So all this we get to know with a small basic scan to the wife. Semen analysis usually if is done with 3 to 5 days of abstinence. In that period when this husband comes and gives the semen, we will check for the basic total how much is the count in the of sperms, how is the motility of the sperms and how is the progressive motility and also how what are the normal forms, percentages of the normal forms. Based on this minimal investigations, we can come to a diagnosis that how, how better way to give them the management. And also once the bleeding is stopped, we will also do for a tubal patency test with SIS, we usually follow SIS in our center that is saline infusion sonography. In this uh, what we do once the bleeding is stopped, uh, we call the patient and uh, small catheter is inserted from below from the cervix into the uterus and uh, with scan guidance we push the saline, we push the saline and see with the vaginal scan how is the tubes if the spill is there or if there is a delay spill or there is no spill. Based on this we can know the tubal status. So we will know the uterine status, we will know the tubal status and we will know the ovarian status as a whole to the female. Once we see if all are normal, the reserve is normal, the tubes are normal, the cavity is normal. Also we have an advanced thing called as 3D scanning. 3D scanning is nothing but how is the uterus as a whole, like how is the cavity, how much is the volume of the cavity, how is the outer borders of the outer surface of the uterus, is there any fibroid, is there an adenomyosis or is there any polyps, all that we can make out with the 3D scan. So with this small scanning and tubal test and semen analysis, now we go to the next step what is the best method of managing to them. Whether they can go with a small management like timed intercourse or should they go with an IUI method or should they go with the IVF method. So for all this, in this reports we will analyze and give the best management and best results which they get out of it. Okay. And how much time, I mean how many cycles can a person undergo IUI? At least as the latest uh, guidelines and evidence says that 3 cycles, 3 cycles should give us a better cumulative pregnancy outcome is better, not more than 3 cycles, does not give much of a, a success after 3 cycles. Next is what I call is what is actually IUI, IUI is intrauterine insemination. In this we do when there is something called as for this mandatory thing is the tube should be patent and the cement count should be at least about 8 to 10 million and the 
in these conditions we uh, do a scan on day 2 get these uh, follicles ready by day 10 day 12 and once the follicles is ready and the endometrium is ready we will trigger the trigger her with an injection okay and with that injection the follicle will release after 36 hours we call them after 36 hours to the hospital along with the husband so that he can give the sample in the lab in our hospital they have to give the sample and then the sample is prepared and 0.5 cc or 0.4 to 0.5 cc of the sample highly good motile sperm concentrated sample is put in a small catheter and inserted into the cavity. Now the success of IUI is good about 10 to 12 percent is the success of IUI. So, at the end of 3 cycles the success will come up to 15 percent. So, how if consecutive cycles has a better success than giving a break okay? and after that still the patient is not concerned then we will recommend for going with IVF. So, these are the basic small investigations and how which the which couple fits into which category and what are the good doses of investigation and good doses of treatment that we have to give depends from the patient to patient. So, it is individualized all are not grouped into one and given as such each patient is looked individually what best can be done and we treat accordingly. So, if you have any queries regarding this is there any delay in your conception please do come to 49 to get it clarified thank you we have to do certain blood investigation along with the scan report both combined together we should call them as pcos so it will that pcos pcom picture